Now once our rain stick has been coated with glue, we're ready to apply the yarn. The way we do this is we take our ball of yarn and starting from the bottom, we just roll it around. We first start with rolling it straight around the bottom, making a straight line. And then once we've completed the circle, we go ahead and start working our way up. This all depends on your preference of how you want to decorate the stick. I like to roll the yarn, keeping it very close together. And when I get to a, a match along the stick, I just go ahead and let it stick through the space in between the two rolls of the, um, of the yarn as it's going up. So the matches don't create a problem for me. That's what I mentioned before. When I chose to decorate the stick with the yarn, it's uh, much easier because this way I don't have to worry about cutting strips of paper around the whole length and, and um, trying to fit it in between the matchsticks. This way I can just roll it and the matchsticks can just stick right up in between the spaces. Now at any point it's very easy just to cut the string and then you can go ahead and switch colors. We're going to continue using the, um, the solid color. There really is no right way or wrong way to um, decorate the rain stick. You can use many different colors of string and you can space them out, you can overlay them one on top of the other and um, make different types of angles and crisscross. I'm going to use more of, a, of the solid colors and now I'm going to add a second color. When I add my second color, I take the continuation, the end of the first color and I leave a little bit hanging over and I just kind of um, put it along the length of the, of the stick and then when I use my second color, this way I, it goes over that extra um, piece, the end of the first color, and it kind of holds it in place. So once I make a circle around the first color that I was using, and it's sealed, it's kind of held down the end of the string, I can go ahead and cut it and now start using my second color. And we see that it's going around the end of the, the yarn that I used for my first color, and that really helps hold it in place so it doesn't get unraveled. And I continue going around. The good thing about the white glue is that it doesn't dry so quick. There, it still has a stickiness to it. It remains for a long time. So it gives me a little bit of extra time that I can go ahead and do this step of decorating the rain stick. Once we finish putting the yarn all the way up the length of the roll, on the end we take a little bit of glue and we just press down the end. It doesn't matter that it's not tucked underneath. So now we see what the stick looks like when it's covered with the yarn. And again these are the colors that we chose so you can really make this look very, um, very colorful, very eye-catching. So now I've shown you how to cover the stick with yarn. And now we can hear the sound of the rice running through, giving us the sound of the rain as it falls outside. Now we've completed our rain stick. I've shown you how to put the yarn along the length of the stick and decorate it.